Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for mastering software and tech tools one step at a time. In today's video, we are diving into the powerful world of SAP Signavio, the cloud-based business process management tool that's transforming how companies visualize, analyze, and improve their workflows. Whether you're a business analyst, process owner or just starting with digital transformation this video will walk you through everything you need to know from the basics of process modeling to collaboration and insights using signavio's intuitive interface so let's begin now the first thing that you need to do visit the official website of sap signavio on the top right corner, there's going to be an option that says a free trial. I want you to click on it and you will be forwarded to a new page wherein you just have to provide all the information needed so that you can sign up for a 30-day free evaluation account. All right. And then once you have successfully created your account, you will be forwarded to the main homepage of SAP Signavio. Click on the understood, and this is going to be a per perfect opportunity for us to explore the platform. Now, as you can see, there's going to be multiple options on the left side corner. Now, the home page refers to the dashboard or landing page, which gives you an overview of the key information, such as announcements. If you have that, shared documents, suggested content, or shortcuts to recent and favorite items. All right, you see there's going to be a create drop down menu here wherein you have multiple options for you to create. You can create a v BPMN, quick model, value chain, enterprise architecture diagram, customer journey map, business decision diagram or DMN, and of course, event driven process chain, organization chart, process documentation template, and journey model. So we're going to deal with that later. I'm just going to show you around a bit in the left side panel of our main homepage. The news feed gives you a live activity displaying about processes, models, or documents like changes made or comments or approvals. The favorite is a personal list of bookmarked items, which enables you a quick access to frequently used resources. And of course, the recent section gives you the list of documents or models you might have recently opened or work on helping you resume work quickly without researching now the shared documents is documents that have been explicitly shared with you or teams you belong to especially if you're working in a collaborative environment along with their clients or other freelancers or team members that you have promoting collaboration and visibility across departments right the journey models is used for creating and visualizing customer or employee journey maps let's create a new journey now you have the journey name and template selection if you're right here say for example signavio if you want to select a published template you can do that let's click on the next button all right select a folder say for example let's create one and we're going to be able to create our journey model that focuses on user experience across touch points and how it aligns with internal processes you can add sections here for example steps goals and sentiments all right and of course you can create a description out of the journey modeler once i've done that you can add section if you want you can cancel and then we're going to go back to the main home page because we're going to look into the reports after the journey models the report gives you analytics and reporting tools that give insights into the dashboard you have the access model dashboards which is only accessible by admins since you're the admin you have an access to the process model dashboards all right that's going to be for the reports and as you can see you have all these you have the reports th that focuses on user experience across touch points and how it aligns with internal processes right here. If you have a user group here, you can add that. For example, create a report. Now it's compiling. It's generating underway and will begin downloading automatically as soon as it's ready. All right. 
and then there's going to be a, the variant management now the variant management is a section that creates and allows management of different versions or variants of a process which is commonly used for regional or departmental differences compliance variations and of course helping you ensure consistency while accommodating necessary dif differences if you want to create a new template you have an option to do that all right you can do this and last is going to be the dictionary it's a central glossary of business terms for example um, events documents activity risks controls and law more promoting standardization and clarity so we're going to go back to the main home page because remember earlier we have the option to create something right now if you wanted to create say for example organization chart you can do that here and you can choose a folder for example um i'm going to be choosing this one right here we're going to create are we going to be able to create an editor all right Wait for it. Now, this is a perfect opportunity for us to create a new org chart. You can basically drag and drop. You can put some information here. Position and role person. Text on if you want. All right. So you have all of these options for you. Again, you can. You have multiple options here. There's going to be a save and copy. You can edit that. You see on the top right corner, there's going to be a section for you too. If you want to use and utilize all of these, you have the built-in support. Accept all cookies for now. And then there's going to be the process collaboration hub. If you do, you'll be forwarded to a new page right here. And then there's going to be a process manager. which gives you the SAP or SAP Signavio. The process manager gives you all these sections for you, all right? You have the process examples, trash and dictionary. You can create a new folder if you want, all right? Click on OK. And you have the power to export the BPMN XML or export SAP Signavio archive or even export PDF and export rules. There's a lot that you can work here. And I'm, I'm going to give you the time to familiarize yourself with the SAP Signavio Process Manager. All right? Takes a lot. But with that being said, and that wraps up our dive into SAP Signavio. Whether you're just starting out or optimizing existing workflows, Signavio offers a powerful suite to drive real business transformation. SAP Signavio is a robust and intuitive tool for process mining and modeling, especially if you're already in the SAP ecosystem. It's a flexible, collaborative, and gives great visibility into how your business runs and more importantly, how it can run better. All right. If this video is helpful, drop your thoughts in the comments. Have you tried Signavio or are you considering it for your organization? Thank you so much for watching guys and we will see you again in the next video.